These are two missing women from two different states. Okay, this is Jewel Foster and this is Sierra Chapman. Now, the situation here is they got zero coverage, of course, zero. Um, so I'll read their flyers. Okay, this is Jewel Foster. She went missing from Chesterfield County. And let's see, she's 48. Her hair was um, brown braided with red coloring. She's got brown eyes. She's 5'2", 115 pounds. She was last seen leaving her home at the 9200 block of Miranda Lane in Chesterfield County, Virginia on January 7th. Let's see what else. Oh, she left with the bag and no cell phone. See, when they leave with no, no cell phone, that's just weird to me. Anybody with info, call 804 7481251. Very sad. Okay, and this is Sierra Chapman. I want to say I did find an article and I'll skim through that, but you know, that don't count to me. One article. Okay, she's 5'5, 115 pounds. She's got black hair, brown eyes. She's 30 years old, which to me, she looks like a teenager. Okay, she was last seen December 27th leaving her ex-boyfriend's apartment in Trotwood, Ohio, and talks about her car here, and her car was found abandoned on January 6th. Her purse and other belongings were inside her vehicle. Okay, and here's the article. Her sister gets interviewed here. What channel is this? Channel 2. She's a fighter, family of missing Dayton woman, pleading for community's help. And I'm just going to skim through this, okay, because there's a little more info. Okay, she was last seen in Autumn Woods Drive in Trotwood. That was at 4.30 a.m. She was dropping off personal items from her ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. Her sister knew something was wrong, not hearing from her for days. Let's see. What else? Okay, December 29th, there was a press conference, and they said several videos, or surveillance video, caught Sierra leaving that morning, but that was the last time she was seen physically. They didn't find any evidence in the car. She is possibly in danger. I think she is. Let's see what else. I'm sorry, I'm going through this. Oh, her financial records and her money has not been used or touched. Oh, and they um, talked to the boyfriend for a statement and it was over the phone. They said they wanted to question him in person and it hasn't happened. Anybody with info, call 937-333-2674. Very sad.